Hello! In this video, we will review the spinner. The spinner is a 2D transform manipulator that is composed of a ring with different buttons around it, and in the center we have our spinning zones. The red is for the x-axis, the green is for the y-axis, and the blue is for the c-axis. The spinner was created to avoid problems from attempting to grab thin transform widgets in your scene. You can see that when I choose a different joint, that because my pivot orientation is different, my widget displays in different angles. This means that posing my character, I would have to rotate my camera a lot. The spinner saves me that time. To use your spinner, you simply place it anywhere you want in your scene, and you choose one of the top three manipulators. You have Transform, Rotate, or Scale, which you can also access by using I, O, and P on your keyboard. You simply choose an axis, and then you left mouse button, click and drag up and down to increase or decrease the values. You can see that those values also change here in your Transform tool. For your Move widget, you also have these tiny triangles that allow you to move your selection in two different angles. The same goes for your rotation and scale. You simply click and drag up and down to change the values by increasing or decreasing. You can also click and drag with your middle mouse button to rotate in all different angles. Here in your scene, you can click and drag on one axis, or you can click and drag with your middle mouse button to rotate in all axes. Here you can see that your rotation icon has a tiny square next to it. This means that if I right click on it, I am now entered into a new feature. With regular rotation, you can see that the children of the chosen joint move with him. But here in my Rotate Inherent Children mode, if I click and drag up and down, then the children of the selected joint do not rotate with my joint. The same goes for scale. Here in my regular scale, I simply click and drag to scale it. And in the center, I can scale all three different axes at once. And if I click on the scale icon with my right mouse button, then now I am in my tune scale mode. This gives me squash and stretch and is good to use for cartoony characters. Here I have my pivot mode, which works in bind pose. And this is for rotating your pivots. Here I have my local transformation. And if I right click on it, I enter my world transformation mode. Here I have discrete mode. When turned on, you can see that my rotation as is at 45 degree angle. Here I have help and here I have my preferences. In my preferences I can change the move, rotate, and scale discrete step values. I also have tune scale coef which is short for coefficient and allows me to exaggerate the tune scale. Here I have show axis hint which gives me an infinite axis. And here I have Use Move 3D Gizmo in Spinner Rotate mode. This means that, with it turned on, when I hover over my Rotate Spinner, I am in my rotation mode. But when in my scene, I now have my Transform Move mode. This allows me to work quicker because I don't have to click on the different icons or use my hotkeys. If you select your IK and are in Rotate, you see that you now have a new icon in the center. 
when clicking and dragging with your left mouse button. This allows you to move your pull vector. And the same goes for your reverse foot. You now have new icons. The same one is in the center for your pull vector. And for your X, Y, and C, if you click and drag with your left mouse button, then you rotate your reverse foot control. But if you click and drag with your right mouse button, now you are using your reverse foot to roll, twist, and bank. And that is my spinner.